Hello everyone. This is the continuation of model 4 realization of IR filter structures. Last session we had discussed on direct form 1 and direct form 2. Today we will be dealing with structure for cascade form, parallel form and the signal flow graph. Cascade form. In cascade form, we factorize the numerator and the denominator polynomial in terms of second order polynomial system function. So this is our transfer function where the numerator represents the zeros and the denominator represents the poles. So this is the second order polynomial for both numerator and denominator. In cascade, the transfer function h of z is equal to h1 of z into h2 of z till hk of z. So here we are going to realize h of z in direct form 2 and cascade all together to make a one structure cascade form. So each h1 of z and h2 of z or h2 of z till hk of z is realized in direct form and they are all together cascaded. Each second order subsystem can be realized in either direct or canonic form. In IIR filter implementation, we can group the numerator and the denominator in any different ways or any combination we can form. Right. So there are four possible cascade realization for a fourth order where the number of zeros and poles are equal to four. So these are the four possible cascade realization. So here, this is a direct form two representation, right? And here we can see that we have at center we have delays and on the left and the right side we have the address right so this is a four, fourth possible way so let's see with the problem where you can really understand how it has been drawn so the only 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 thing you need to make sure that that here the each of h1 of z or h2 of z is been cascaded by using a direct form 2 so here an example, draw the signal flow graph using cascade form with first order section for LTI system whose transfer function is h of z is equal to 1 minus 3 z minus 1 plus 2 z minus 2 divided by 1 plus 0 0.3 z minus 1 minus 0 0.1 z plus 2 minus 2. Solving the quadratic equation of the numerator and the denominator polynomial and keep it in first order section. After factorize of h of z we get as so h of z the numerator and the denominator are getting factorized and we are keeping that in first order section so if you factorize the numerator and the denominator we get 1 minus 2 z to minus 1 into 1 minus z to minus 1 divided by 1 plus 0 0.5 z to minus 1 into 1 minus 0 0.2 z to minus 1 so now looking at this h of z there are four possible ways to draw the cascade Let's see. So this is the main expression actually. This is h1 of z and this is h2 of z. Right. So let's see how it has been drawn. So here, as I said, this is h1 of z and h2 of z should be drawn in direct form 2 and they should be cascaded. So let's see how they are drawn h1 of z in direct form. So first in direct form 2, always to the left side you get poles, on the right side you get zeros. So here the value of pole is plus 0 0.5. So you need to write minus 0 0.5. But why? Because here you have minus a1. Here if it was minus 0 0.5, then the answer could be 0 0.5. Please remember this point. So here we get we have minus 0 0.5 and the value of 0 is minus 2. Now to, to with this we have to cascade the h2 offset again, which is formed in del form 2 right we have a delay of z is to minus 1 that is the highest delay right then the value of pole is 0 0.2 so as it is minus 0 0.2 you take it 0 0.2 and the value of zeros is minus 1 so there is another combination now wherein they have taken these two combinations 1 minus z is to 1 divided by 1 plus 0.5 into 1 minus 2 raised to z minus 1 divided by 1 minus 0 0.2 z raised to minus 1. 
in the similar way they have drawn the structure so i, I hope it is understood so there are four possible way to draw the cascade or form the h1 of z or h2 of z and accordingly draw the cascade structure Realize the system with difference equation y of n is equal to 3 by 4 y of n minus 1 minus 1 by 8 into y of n minus 2 plus x of n plus 1 by 3 x of n minus 1. So this x of n and x of n minus 1 represents the zeros and y of n, y of n minus 1, y of n minus 2 represents the poles. So from the difference equation we can obtain the transfer function what we have seen in direct form 1 and so here, this is my transfer function. So we get 1, 1 plus 1 by 3 z raised to minus 1 divided by 1 minus 3 by 4 z raised to minus 1 plus 1 by 8 z raised to minus 2. So here, the value of 0 is, the order of the 0 is 1, single order, and the order for the whole is second order. So we are trying to factorize the denominator. So we can, so, so we make sure that we get this and a single order now here there is a combination now h1 of z can be 1 plus 1 by 3 z is to minus 1 divided by 1 minus 1 by 2 z is to minus 1 and h2 of z could be 1 by 1 minus 1 by 4 z is to minus 1 or there is a possible that h1 of z can be 1 plus 1 by 3 z is to minus 1 divided by 1 minus 1 by 4 z to minus 1 into h2 of z could be 1 divided by 1 minus 1 by 2 z to minus 1. So keeping this as a example, we are trying to draw the structure. So here h1 of z and h2 of z can be realized in direct form 2. So this is h1 of z. So as I said, there is single delay and we have poles and zeros. Here was only poles, so we are trying to cascade these together and we get this answer, right? So this is the individual direct form 2 of h1 of z and that form 2 of h2 of z. Now together we are cascade, we get this answer, right? Parallel form, a parallel form of i system can be obtained by partial expansion. So h of z is equal to bk which is represents the zeros and the a key represents the poles right so here this can be written as h of z is equal to c plus summation of k equal to 1 to n c k divided by 1 minus p k z is to minus 1 where p k represents the poles so this equation can be written as in this form we are trying to expand this summation and again this h of z can be written as y by x of z which is equal to c plus now this is h1 of z this is h2 of z this is h1 of z right after cross multiplying we get y of z is equal to c of x of z plus h1 of z x of z plus h2 of z x of z till h1 of z into x of z so by looking at the above equation we'll be drawing the parallel form structure so this is my constant term if I take the inverse z transform of this, so this is my constant. I get x of z as x of n, right? y of z as y of n. But I'll be writing the expressions of h1 of z, h2 of z, and h3 of z individually. Now this is x of n. We have we are getting one constant. We need to add h1 of z. So you're trying you're trying to take x of n. Why h1 of z is multiplied by x of z? So you're trying trying to take it from here and you're taking h1 of z and you're going to give it to an adder cause to this again adder we will be getting one more h2 of z so again you're trying to trying to take x of n with with h2 of z and again adding till we get h n of z into x of z so note the partial fraction expansion method can be employed to obtain the split of transfer function let's take an example obtain the parallel form realization for the following difference equation so from this difference equation we can obtain the transfer function now 
we need as the power of the numerator and the denominator are same that is the value of the poles and the zero are same we need to go for a long division method now so here just try to see so these are kept in a reverse order even this is kept in reverse order we are trying to divide this by this so here this is the expression i need to get 0.6 over here so 0.2 into 3 will give me 0.6 and 0.1 into 3 will give me 0 0.3 1 into 3 will give me minus 3. So we get 3.9 z to minus 1 plus 6. So after the log division, we get h of z is equal to. So this is my constant, as I say, this would be my constant, that is minus 3. And I got 3.9 z to minus 1 plus 6 divided by this expression. So we have reduced the power of the numerator to first order. Now this function can be partialized so you can partially by using partial fraction you can solve the values of this particular function that is h1 of z or h of z you can say so minus 3 plus a by 0.4 minus 0.4 z to minus 1 plus b by 1 plus 0.5 z to minus 1 So by partial fraction method, we get the value of a is equal to 7 and b is equal to minus 1 respectively. So h of z is equal to minus 3 which is c plus 7 by 1 minus 0.4 z to minus 1 minus 1 divided by 1 plus 0.5 z to minus 1. So this is h1 of z, this is h2 of z. So this is, this is similar to this expression, right? So the value of p1 is 0.4, value of p2 is minus 0.5. So let's try to draw this let's try to just draw this part so we have delay in denominator not in numerator so this would be a constant so we have one delay so we'll be drawing first the poles which is 0.4 z to minus 1 will be having one adder and there's one constant 7. now again from here we'll be taking and joining this constant minus 3 and we'll be giving to an adder because we have to add this also and Again, we'll be drawing this only for poles as numerator is having only one. There is no z term. There is no delay term. So again, this is as usual what we have drawn and what we have seen in that form 2 and casket. And again, we are joining these together to get 1 y of n. This, this would be the most easiest way to understand. Right. So first, you keep x of n and y of n outside. You draw h1 of z and h2 of z with an adder with a delay. How many delays you you have? Then you add all this. So you are trying to join a constant with minus 0.3, minus 3. With that you have this h1 of z. Again with this you have h2 of z. But they are starting all from x of n. And you are getting as y of n. Okay. Next we will see with signal flow graph transport stru structure block diagram of a second order direct form 2 so this is a block diagram of a direct form 2 so at the center we have the delays and uh, on the left and the right side we have the address so this is pole this is zeros let's try to draw this in a signal flow graph so again this will be all the same so wherever you find adders and a node you just give a single node so you have adder at 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 and join accordingly so 1 2 4 1 2 5 3 2 4 3 2 5 and give the same directions minus a1 minus a2 minus p1 minus p2 this is p0 this is 1 x of n 5 of n so this is what from direct form 2 block data we are trying to draw the single flow graph to get the transpose direct form 2 we need to do the following operation so we need, to, we need to change, interchange the input and output, change the direction of all the branches. So what we have seen in signal flow graph, we need to change the input, output, change the direction of all these branches. Right. Now looking at this, we need to draw the block diagram. So here, we're going to change the summing points to branch points and vice versa. So wherever you find branch points, you make it to summing point and wherever you find branch summing point you make it to branch point 
so here we can we can make this as adder so this is this was a branch point earlier earlier when you look when we look at uh, the block diagram of tab form 2 this was a branch point so we are making this as a summing point so again this was a branch point we are making it as summing point and the rest were just like an add so we are trying to do this so this 2 4 and 5 will become a summing point the rest will be just a branch point or a node with similar direction so b1 b2 a1 a2 is coming minus a1 a2 now again we need to interchange the input and output with respect to poles and zeros so just flip this again you'll get x of n y of n you get b1 b2 minus a1 a2 so this is how you have to draw the structure obtain the transpose direct form 2 for y of n is equal to this difference equation now from this difference equation we can get the transfer function as as usual now from this direct uh, transfer function we can directly draw the direct form 2 so this is poles this is zero so we have one delay so it is one delay of one one this is poles of second order so we have two delays so we have minus 0.5 so they'll just write 0.5 you have plus 0.25 you write minus 0.25 so this will be an adder because x of n coming with this and you have to write uh, add one more 0.25 now convert this back to single flow graph so accordingly you have to convert so this will become all branch port, uh, branch points or the nodes so basic concept is that we are going to interchange the input and output change the direction of all the branches change the summing point to branch point and branch point to summing point this is the main concept here after taking the direct from two of of the transfer function get the single flow graph as usual now in order to get the transport transpose direct form 2 you have to look at the direct form 2 representation wherein the summing point has been changed to node and the branch point has been changed to summing point okay so here we are trying to interchange the input and output and we are trying to change the direction of all the branches right and again we are interchanging the input output and again we are shifting that zeros and poles so in that form two we had poles and zeros now we'll be making it as zeros and poles so here in that form two we had adder and we had branch points so this will be becoming summing point or an adder and this will become a branch point or a node so this is adder 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 this will become just a node point accordingly you give the directions and work it out Thank you.